Welcome back guys to TechPress, my name is Steven, I'm going to be showing you which one is the best Shopify or Amazon. And back then in another video we talked about WooCommerce versus Shopify, uh, Shopify versus Equid, but in today's tutorial let's check it out, Shopify versus the fulfillment by Amazon. So Amazon FBA usually like the most easy way to understand it is just a fulfillment service for your e-commerce business. So you are just selling your own stuff, you're selling your own products. But what the actual Amazon is doing is to add their own brand so people can use this recognized uh, branding logo into your shipping method so they have a little bit more confidence and they are going to be taking care of the shipping, the returns, everything. So this is how the FBA works with Amazon. We create your account into a single account. We create our product listing. We prepare the products and the shipping products. Everything goes to Amazon. The ID labels, the sending shipments, the centers, uh, the inventory, everything is comes from the actual Amazon. So what is the best tool for you, Amazon or Shopify? Well, for instance, if you're just getting started, I believe that Amazon should not be really something that you might be wanted to use because if you are a creator a beginner if you're just getting started and you don't know like a lot of stuff check it out here for instance into amazon you need to pay a 39.99 per month plus your selling fees plus every sale that you make to be paying a few commissions of course if you go into shopify and you make a few payments uh shopify usually has uh plans that there's a really, really a lot of affordable price. They even have an startup plan that costs only $5 per month, which is actually nothing. So if you are willing to pay $40, for example, you can use the rest of that money. You can use it for marketing stuff, for marketing research. You can pay someone else to help you to improve your CEO, the search engine console into Google, to drive more traffic into Facebook, into Instagram, much more elements. So you don't need to pay everything into just one website. You wanted to spread your money along with more stuff as you're just getting started with. But let's assume that you actually paid for Amazon fulfillment. So usually when you're selling into Amazon, um, stuffs are actually selling by itself because Amazon is like the number one marketing e-commerce application so far. For example, let's say that I wanted to buy a Galaxy S20. I just typed this one and check it out here. The very first, but really, really the first thing that I see into my search console are products from Amazon. They don't even have the actual Samsung uh, URL into the upper side. We do have the sponsored of Amazon. This is why Amazon is selling and reaching tons of money every day because everything is almost bought uh, here into Amazon and they have really, really low prices. That's why everybody trusts into Amazon. That's why almost everybody loves to buy stuff into Amazon. If you don't think that you can create a website that can be helping you really gain it trusted like Amazon, you know, for example, here into Shopify, then maybe it's for you to check it out. This one is, uh, you can try it out here, for example, here into Amazon, of course. But if you ask me, I believe that Shopify is not only a website. I mean, I needed to gain a few trust by people, by the actual community to earn more experiences, uh, customer reviews and all of that. So meanwhile, meanwhile, my website does not drive a lot of traffic. I don't need to be discouraged because what we can do into Shopify is to sell not only into a custom online store, but into a new place. For example, there is the point of sale. You can sell uh, directly into your actual store, into a physical store or you can sell into Facebook and into Instagram. Everybody has social media. So creating stuff into Facebook and Instagram should help you to personalize your actual store in a very easy and easy way. So it's gonna be helping you to drive a little bit more traffic and customers into your actual store. We can even use the actual TikTok application to drive some sales into my actual store. So all of this comes with the actual plan of Shopify. You just need to figure out which is the actual product that you're gonna be selling. So if there's a product that people uh, check it out into the social media the most, you can sell directly into Shopify and try this out for three months 
And if this doesn't work, I can move directly into Amazon and I can try to figure out if my product's actually great to stopping selling it here into Amazon. And if not, maybe I need to change my marketing tools, my everything, of course. But this is something that is totally, truly helpful uh, Shopify in order to get started into this e-commerce world. I mean, it's really, really great to get started with. If you are ready to go to the next step, you can always go into Amazon. Now, Amazon is a really huge place to sell stuff, but you want to make sure that you have a really great product and a really great brand in order to make some sales. It is, it is not only about leaving your stuff into Amazon and expect to have a few sales. You need to do a lot of work and research and all of that. So hopefully this was a pretty useful information for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great toes of Amazon, of Shopify, of Equid, of WooCommerce, and much more into our channel. Thank you so much for watching the video once again. Hopefully, guys, we can all see you next time.